This is my 2016 Gibson J45. I love this guitar. This guitar is really special to me because this is the result of the Dream Guitar Challenge I did last year. I started with $500 and I would buy and sell guitars and gear. I'd bring you along and I would show you how to negotiate with people, how to set up the deal, how to buy guitars, how to make sure you're not going to lose money. And in five or six moves, I went from $500 to $1,400 and bought this J45. I wanted to go farther, but life changed. We had a baby, and I was in a job at that point that didn't work well for me buying and selling guitars. But I love this guitar, but acoustic guitars always feel limited. So I am super excited. The guys from Tonewood Amps sent me one of the Tonewood Amps. Have you heard about these? I feel like this could be an amazing addition to an acoustic guitar, but I'm so curious. Is it a gimmick or is it actually awesome? I've seen people that I trust have big responses to it. So I want you guys to see my reaction when I put this on the guitar and I strum it and I hear what this powerful little thing can do first. Is it awesome or is it a gimmick? Let's find out right now. So the general idea to how this works is that you have, so you have the X-brace inside that has these magnets on it, and then on the other side, on the back of the guitar, ooh, that's a serious magnet. Um, so on the back of the amp, it would be there. So that's how it holds on. Sheesh, that's really tight. All right, I stuck it to the back. So now it's time to put batteries in it. Didn't hold this, hey, tone wood. All right, so it says hall reverb. So now I just put that on there. So now I go from the input here. I hear it, it's doing something. Holy cow. So I just plugged it in and it was on and I heard an amazing echoey sound happened just now. So now let's put some strings on it and let's hear it. I'm gonna set up the condenser mic in front of me just so you hear what it would normally hear as an acoustic guitar. I'm very curious and very excited for what comes next. And you should be too. All right, that was so quick. It was maybe six minutes for me to put this thing on, um, to put the brace inside, put the amp on, and to put batteries in it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. It says tone wood in the software, guitar one, battery. It's very strange uh, hearing. There's a Leslie setting. Okay, that is surreal. It feels and sounds totally different, but it feels very like normal. There's a low level hum, which I think I have to mess with the notch filter.
it's a strange sensation having a guitar feedback when it's just sitting in your lap. Uh, but overall, it is a very cool, uh, it's a very cool and very creative idea. This is such a cool bridge from what I do on an acoustic guitar to what I do on an electric guitar. Um, for me, I love those big echoey reverbs. I love where it sounds like I'm playing in a huge cathedral or it sounds like my amp is half a mile away. I have seen so many videos about this and I'm pretty and I'm very glad to say that it does live up to the hype. It is a very cool piece of gear. Um, it does open up a whole world of possibilities in the acoustic guitar playing world. Like I said earlier, this is a great bridge uh, for me and how I play an acoustic guitar to how I play an electric guitar. This is the right space in between where I get some of that ambience, some of that reverb, all of these things build together to be a very cool uh just a very cool experience to play one of these. So the three question gear review on this is it, or what's good about it, what's bad about it, and should you buy one? What is good about it? It is incredibly cool and innovative. It's unlike any other experience I've had playing an acoustic guitar with effects, making your acoustic guitar sound different or sounding more powerful. What's bad about it? It's kind of hard to get used to. Uh, and then there's also the setup. So at first I didn't put the stickies on the back of it and I found I was turning the amp up too loud on the back and the pickup for my guitar was too hot and it just didn't work for a couple minutes. And then I finally just stuck the pads to the back of the amp or to the back of the guitar, which I'm not worried about. Um, but it's a little tricky to get used to using. Um, but with that said, it's really not hard. It took me, you know, 15 minutes or so to get used to it and then to start finding out some cool things. There are some sounds in here that are definitely for me. So it definitely was a little feedbacky and it just is user error because I wanted to give you guys the actual first response I have to this. This is my first couple minutes playing it. That brings us to the third question is should you buy it? If you're in a rut, if you're in a place where you want to try something new, if you're in a place where you want to see what can happen with a cool acoustic guitar with some effects 
Or if you are an electric guitar player who bought an acoustic guitar and it didn't quite jive with them, you felt like it was too dry, it didn't have anything to add in the middle, this amp could be an amazing middle road for you. It could be a really cool piece of gear to add in that gives you some of that flair, some of that vibe of reverb and delay and tremolo and Leslie, uh, even has an overdrive in it. It will give you some cool options that will bridge the gap. I think it's very cool. I think it is priced right on the money. So these amps for the money for $249, these are a great addition to your acoustic guitar setup. I'm very excited to have it. So thanks for watching this video. I'm Jeremy. I am the Guitar Hunter. Go fill the world with music and acoustic reverby goodness if you buy one of these. Hang in there. Stay hunkered down. Keep learning. Keep growing. Adding new things to your skill set. I'll see you guys soon. I'm Jeremy, the Guitar Hunter. Uh, go Instagram, Facebook, blah, 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 Patreon. See you guys later.